Good evening everybody, this is Nelka again and it's time for question and answer. This is another question from our subscriber and Rich E said, I tried to apply two materials in one wall and it's impossible to divide a wall into pieces. Okay, this is his question after watching my tutorial about how to apply materials on the walls so rich e there are i replied to you already but i i will just uh, inform everybody that you can have different options okay it is better for me to show it to you rather than um, explaining it by word so it's better to show it okay so i have this project right now here and uh, this is an office and I will try to create two materials in one wall. So let's just use one room of this one because I think the rooms of this projects are not yet finished. So let's go and select this one. This is room number four. And I will apply two materials in one wall. So the first one is you will create a tin wall, um, a tin cut out on this wall. So how are you going to do that? This is by using this one, for example, in this wall. I will create um, materials on this wall, two materials. So I'll use a cutout first and I will do like this. Okay. And I will stretch it like this and this also. I'll make sure it's parallel to the wall. And you can see now it is cut. And if you check that one, ooh, it's cut now. And you go back to the cutout tool, select again this one, and you need to limit your cutout depth into say 0 0.001. Let's see like that. So it will not be too obvious. So when you cut it, and you when you click to the furniture tab, just to check, it is still cut out. But if you go to the story tab, then you will have your you will have your little cutout and it's not very noticeable and it's closed now and if you apply materials on this one you can do it so now so let's go and try it so for example i want this material i will just apply it here yes now i have a red wall on the top and for example i want the beige one so i'll just pick this one up and then i will just apply it here then I will now have two colors in one wall. The problem of this one is if you go to the room tab, then yes, you will have a problem because it's already cut. Okay, so don't create a render image for this room. You can create a render here. All right. So the other so solution that you can do for this one is by creating an object and then just um yeah make it a little thin and then uh, attach it to the wall so let's go and go to let's go and select the object tab and then i will use the extrusion vol uh, extrusion body because this is a regular irregular shape or maybe i can just use this um blocks and just edit it so i will just place one okay let's just use the blocks and then i will move on the corner and then scale it right click scale and then move like this scale it scale it more now you can see this is a little thick and you can just edit it from here you will say 0 0.001 enter and then now it's so thin so you'll go and right click and then move it and then attach it to your wall you can see it's in the middle so you can do like that so it will be more thinner and then you will for example uh, increase the height of this one let's say two meters and then go to your 3d and then you will now have your one wall which is the original one and the extrusion volume which is your second wall and then from there you can create now your uh, different colors or materials in your wall let's say i want this one here and another one i want a pink one for example or purple one so there you go you will now have your two different colors in your walls 
um, I forgot to mention there's another one more technique which is you need to use um, uh, photo editing for example you can use Photoshop or let's say paint the simplest one you can edit the picture and then use that one as your texture okay it is better for me to show it to you rather than talking about it for example I go to the paint and then for example I want two pieces of materials or colors in my wall so I'll just use and select it oh sorry not that one this one the rectangular um, here I think you need to make it thin here okay and let's say I want the red one okay and then I will just create a rectangle here and then I will fill it up with red as well then it's good and then for example I want the lower one as yellow and I will just like that and then I will save it as a picture or as a new texture I will say new texture and then enter now I will have my new texture in my um, a desktop and then I can use that one now in my um, Dallas Evo file so now I'll go to my create texture material and then I'll go to my desktop and select the picture that I just created so I found it and it's here and I'll just apply it select it and now I will apply it in my wall and tada now I have two different colors in my wall and if I go to the room you can easily see it like this so these are the three options that you can do for your two different colors or materials in your one wall one is by cutting out next is by using extrusion volume or object to make it a new wall and the other one is just to edit your texture or material into different colors or different materials so that's it and i hope you learned something for this short tutorial about using different materials all right see you again on the next video tutorial bye